Yeah, I was. Dickhead. The 80s were 30 years ago. Oh, wait. <laughs> Fuck. Mm-hmm. Yep. It's catching up to you, Rob. You're going to die soon. Finally. What do you mean, finally? Oh, we're recording, too, by the way. I thought we were just... Yeah, I, I thought... I thought we were we... pre-recording, but we're actually recording. I'm used to you just not telling us we're I recording, so it. I'm always assuming you're recording. I did it to myself this time. All right. Uh, let's level how's this, it feel? Let's level this bitch up on the fly here, shall we? All right. Yeah. 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 Mm-hmm. This is what you? you've been doing to us. Us. There is no us. It's only we. Oh, my God. <laughs> Look at you already. <laughs> what? Already. Already what? Throwing shade. Hey, poor I've Steven. Been th- I... He's not even here. I hear something, though. Something over anyway. there. But I've been throwing shade for the past, what, six hours since I've been here? I don't know. You've been uh, here. It has not been six refu- hours. Refugee Camp Days La Mel. FEMA. Three hours. You've been here. No bullshit. Yeah. Three it's been and a like half. four. It's been an easy four. No. Almost four. No. Nope. It seems a lot longer. <laughs> I'll tell you that. I don't know why. I mean, I don't need anything bad by that. Well, I took nothing but offense from it. So. Well, I mean, I don't care, really. But, you know. So. What? Episode 133. Okay. You, I. I, you. You, I. UTI. Uh, never had one, but I hear they're horrible. Udi. The great Uti, cranberry juice. Mmm, I do like cranberries and cranberry juice. I do like cranberry juice as well. But every time I saw it in the fridge and I saw my stepmother drinking it, I was like, "This bitch got a UTI." Shout that's out to what. That's what you always thought. Yep. Why? I have no idea. Just because I knew that that was like a thing, and like it would only come in there randomly. Mm. It wasn't like a staple in the whole household. What if she was just trying to pass a piss test? That's a thing? You've never heard that? Cranberry? Cranberries, pickle juice. No, I've heard, um, what's that vitamin? I think it starts with an S. Vitamin? Vitamin. Uh, it's not serotonin because I don't get any of that. Uh, it turns you red. Niacin? Niacin, yeah, it's not an S. It's an S. It- yeah. Nice. And yeah, I did that one once. It didn't work. <laughs> no. It, and you it went in and looked turn, it all fucking. It will turn you red and itchy, though. Now, like this dude took some Nias and <laughs> tried to get over on us. Because if there's anybody that knows that shit, it's the people that have to deal with it every day. Probably. I don't know. I'm just, you know, I don't think we should have to take them anyway. But that's just personal opinion. Uh, okay, for nothing? No, for nothing. For nothing. What would you want to say we need to take a piss test for so I can prove you wrong? I mean, if you're I, in like a, like a DUI situation, maybe. Yeah, like if you... But I'm just talking about like Like jobs. what if you have to be a yeah bus driver? Hmm. Or, or like a school bus driver? Well, are you, you're, are you saying like a one-time test? I mean, yeah. I th- come to f- I, like, no, I'm always fine with the one times. and I think it's crazy how many of the people that are around children don't get tested Yeah, for their jobs. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I know what you're saying there, homie. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. But, uh, uh, bus drivers. Um, I think, yeah. Okay. What's the point of just doing it once if you're going to be like? Oh, well, I mean, you traveling. do it once and then you. That's just people a, Are you signs, smart enough to but... pass this test? Test. Yeah, I guess it is. Yeah. Can you study for this test? That's all those are. Like with a bus driver or like somebody that's got like a um, what are they called? When you drive like heavy trucks and stuff, CDL. Oh, okay. Like people that have like CDLs and stuff, they should be able to be randomed. But only if they're exhibiting signs while impaired while driving. Because, like, you know, like, CDL drivers, 
they can't even uh, their blood alcohol content has to be lower than um, whatever the le- the state level is to be intoxicated. Like if they only have if they have one drink, they're done, and Damn. they and they'll lose their license. Like for good for that shit. So don't you're not gonna get your CDL. <laughs> I don't drink. I wouldn't have that problem. Um, but no, I'm not big on driving trucks anymore. I, I drove a box truck in D.C. for a little bit, and that was enough for me. Thank you. <laughs> like, no, thank you. I'm... Fuck this bullshit. Here's your wine. <laughs> Get me the fuck out of here. It was cool when I like only had to go to like bumfuck country, but like every Wednesday was D.C. <sighs> all those one-way streets, all those stoplights. Stoplights are on the side of the road, not above. So weird. Ran so many of them. <laughs> Anywho, what's up, Mel? Me? What's up with me? Nothing, man. It's a week. <laughs> All right, well, you know how it's a, we up. wrap it up. We're done here. No, it's been a good week, man. I uh, I worked. I watched wrestling. I ate. I did all that good stuff, and I did it well. Did you do it well? But the main thing... I don't know. I saw some leftovers earlier. Is that doing it well? Leftovers what? You're supposed to be a member of the Clean Plate Club when you eat. Fuck you. (laughs) Okay? That's not going to be me. Unless I want it to be me. And you know what? I'm going to just be me. And you can fuck off. If you don't agree with that. Give me a... Hell yeah. Hell yeah. (laughs) Hell yeah, Mel. Yeah, there you go. Let me toss you a Mel Weiser. Yeah. That's right. Okay. Um, we'll we'll go with that. Yeah. yeah I think okay, we but... should go with that because that's what I said. All right. Well, and that's the bottom line. Cuz cuz Mel said so. <laughs> Sounds so sure of yourself. I I am, okay. Cuz Mel said so. Okay, Morty. Whatever. Fuck off. You do got a good Morty, man. Um yeah, dude, you buy comic books this week? No, we're not there yet. I got a question. <laughs> you got the question? I've I got, got a question. Some... I've got one question. Okay, what's you. your question? What kind of what kind of food would you fuck if you were gonna <laughs> fuck some food? Like, well, this kind of goes into my question a little bit. So, uh, okay, we can go here. What kind of food would I fuck if I was gonna fuck some food? Fuck if you were gonna fuck food. <laughs> Would you go with like a melon or What's like nuts? a pasta Probably dish? Probably like spaghetti might be You would good. think of a pasta dish? Pasta, um, maybe. Not the pie? Like American pie, remember that scene? Maybe like a couple warm bananas, maybe. A know. banana, okay. A peeled bananas. Peeled banana. So just like the skin? No, 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 no. Like the actual bananas themselves. Like, okay. You get like a conglomerate of bananas, like a bunch of bananas. You're going to get a bunch of them. How are you going to hold them together? Tape. Just going to tape bananas together and fuck it? Well, I mean, if we're fucking food, I mean, there's going to be some prep involved. A little bit. You're going to put spaghetti what in about, the glove. What about getting a piece of bread and just, like, cutting a see, hole in I it? see you like to go for the more hard things, the melons, the breads. I'm more of a soft, warm kind of guy. Yeah, but that's <laughs> the realism soft, factor. I like they're a soft slime. and warm. I like a little slime in my food. Uh, would, you don't think the bread would be like that? Maybe well, some yogurt. Okay, like something already in a, because you got to think about like you don't want to crush it because you, like if you had a cannoli shell, it's just gonna crush. It's too fragile. It's too fragile. So you've got to. But think if you of got the, like a nice the integrity of it, a nice eclair, an eclair. Okay, yeah, yeah exactly. A doughy eclair. Yeah, if you were gonna make your own eclair cream, like Van Wilder. Is that what they did? It is what they did. Then no, they used like dog, dog semen. Dog. That was so gross. Yeah, that is disgusting. Um. Yeah, food fucker. You would be a food fucker. No, you asked, and I said probably a, uh, a pasta dish. Pasta dish. Or you said a pasta dish, huh? Something along those lines. 
Well, I understand where you're going there. I just don't well, know if y- I agree. You, you'd be a melon man, you say? I don't know. I don't know. I can't think. Like, yeah, because a watermelon. Like, if you're gonna, but then you got to think about the seed getting in your dick. So, <laughs> your dick sprouting a watermelon plant. Yeah, like it, it could happen. <laughs> you think it's a wart? <laughs> All yeah. of a sudden, a fucking yeah. root. Yeah. Like just, that comic book. Yeah, family, family tree. tree. Yeah. Speaking of, I almost put that down this week. Oh, you almost put it down. I, like, yeah, reading it this week, I was like, yeah, this is kind of eh. And then that one thing happened. And I was like, oh. What one thing? Uh, the, like, army people happened. <laughs> like, they're like, go get them. Oh, like, yeah. Oh, okay, this comic book just got interesting. You didn't think it was interesting when the they were in the, like, alternate world of the tree kind of Yeah, tree? that was, like, kind of weird. I, like... Didn't, oh. Like I almost wanted to go back to the first the, the issue before it to see if I like missed something. Yeah, but I did. Uh, yeah, I, I figured it out after a minute. So another one of his comics, Gideon Falls, is uh, they just ended the the like the next volume will be coming out already. Yeah, good. And it's oh man, I think I am gonna get the trade on that too. You hear him over there? Yeah. He's adorable. He's like whining in his sleep, the little guy. Anyway. Uh, so back to food fucking. Oh, you're going back to the food fucking. Okay. Well, I got to You it popped back into your head. <laughs> well, there might be a potential for a sponsor. I'm not a food fucker. Okay. But an automatic blowjob machine. Would you use it? I mean, you got to use the products that you're oh, Well, talking, if you're right? good, yeah. No, I understand that, but like you would you get one if it. you didn't have to Uh No, but probably because of the price point. How much was it? I'm not sure. Okay. I'm sure it's affordable. But, you know. I don't know that picture you sent me looked kind of intimidating. Space age. It just looked <laughs> like a uh it was like the size of a Keurig machine, <laughs> but like longer, right? I don't know. Uh, I don't know. It had some settings and dials and... Yeah, it had all kinds of shit there. I think it's rechargeable. I would hope so. I would imagine that thing just plugs in. It's not portable, is it? It's hand size. Was Han- it just... Handy. A- what are you gonna like stick it between the like the pillows? That thing looked like you just put it on a table and started going to town. <laughs> right. But there was it's no supposed to do the work. Though. I think you just hold it there. And it's I like... don't. Did you hold it there? Did you just stand? There? I haven't got one yet. I know, but it the thing. I look. It didn't look small enough to just hold. In that picture, it looked like something you would set down and I guess just stand there. I'm bringing it up. Maybe the you know image make it makes it look bigger. It's always bigger in pictures. Um, auto blow for blowjobs at its best. You know what it looks like now that I'm looking at it again. Ten different blowjob experiences and ten different speeds. How many different speeds have you, I mean? If I'm getting too brash, please let me know. We have company, but. How many different speed blowjobs have you had in your life? I don't even know. Like, I'm only thinking I, like a really fast one, a really slow one, and then a good one. Yeah, there's somewhere in between. Like, I can't like what kind of settings controls you... all the realistic action. Tiny onboard mini computer. There's a computer in here. There are. There's a pause button. I would hope so. <laughs> there better be an emergency stop. <laughs> Auto blow AI uses artificial intelligence to does it, give the perfect blowjob. Does it learn what kind of blowjobs you like? I don't know. I it's wish all, like, I wish my friend you, took a picture of the back for more information. Do you wish you? I mean, not, not wish. Do you think it has some kind of like programmable settings that you're like, hope oh, this okay. is okay. All right. I think I see what's going on here. On the pictures on the side over here. Yeah. It kind of looks like it's like a, uh, a other self-masturbatory device that comes in a flashlight. Okay. But 
it does all that motion for you. Oh, okay. So is it a blowjob machine or a jerk-off machine? A hand job machine, huh? I don't know. So you're gonna reach out to these people? <laughs> I don't know, man. I think sponsors are supposed to reach out to you. Oh, is that how is that how it works? I, don't, I mean, you're shit. the one that's behind the scenes here. I just want to know if I can get my dick hard up. Anyway, could you? <laughs> could get my dick hard with it to, to do it? Yeah, of course. I just don't want to break the machine. <laughs> Does it come in a large model? You know, at one point, my sister was working for some kind of, like, company or got something. And it was, like, one of those male masturbation sleeves. And I think it was supposed to, it was, like, a gag gift or whatever. But she gave it to me and she was, like, like, here you go. ha ha ha. And, like, me being young, I went and used it. But that thing, like, split in half. (laughs) <laughs> was like, it like modeled after a uh, porn star it's like that's how they get you no it was like, it was like a cheaper one it was just a oh you got like the bargain basement model yeah yeah just like cheap ass here you go your entry level masturbation sleeve <laughs> well i'll tell you this the auto blow doesn't look cheap no that didn't look cheap would you get a uh what are those things called the the flashlight. Would you use that? <laughs> no. No. I don't. Well, I mean, why not? I don't know if I'd Girl, spend the money. That's well, always yeah, the thing for me. I think me. that's the thing because, like, you know, girls can use vibrators and shit, and that's like sexy. But if we use a fucking, you know, pocket pussy flashlight thing, we're like no. incels. No, it, they're not an incel. It's whatever. But I just don't want to spend the fucking like 75 80 bucks on it that's what it is yeah you some of it. Don't spend, but it's like you know how many times are you gonna make that purchase make it <laughs> maybe twice twice in an, how long of a period i don't know because i would <laughs> imagine you get one you're gonna want another one you can't fuck them both not at the same time I mean, you probably could. <laughs> you could pretend you're having a threesome. <laughs> yeah. Uh, 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 switch them off. You get a mouthful and a vagina. <laughs> you might as well just get one of those dolls at that point, right? That's a lot of money. It's a lot more money. I mean, unless you just get the blow-up one. The kind that people like throw out at concerts. And stuff. Yeah. Oh, yeah. But that again, I feel like that'd be like my experience where I go to fuck it and it just like deflates right away, and I'm just like, I'd be afraid of like a seam on there, like cutting you. <laughs> cutting, yeah, <laughs> yeah. exactly. Because it's always that rough ass plastic that yeah, they make cheap, those made things. China plastic. Yeah, they get They're the like, coronavirus from yeah. fucking a. Used blow to be up a doll. pool liner or some shit. Ah, <sighs> uh, weird. What a sad world we live in. I don't think the 90s were like this at all. What do you mean? No, I'm just joking. The 90s were worse. Oh, no. Trust me. Like, Chris... <laughs> what? Did I'm you not just have names. a stroke? I'm not giving names on this one, but two brothers that went to my school got a... Uh, it was called The Waste. <laughs> and just, we were in, like, high school. <laughs> and, like, I think... Everybody tried that thing. Not I. I did stick my finger in it. Not gonna lie, but this thing was just a waste. They were proud of it. A waste? Yeah, it was called the waste. And it was just, you know, a lady's bottom parts from the waist down. It's so, like, waste. <laughs> okay. And it was something that you guys just, like, fucked? I did not. The two brothers that got it did. And a couple other people did, I believe. So it wasn't something they made. It was no, something it was, they, they got. Bought. They bought. It was like legit. Like you could slap it. It kind of like had a little jiggle to the ass. So you saw it. Yeah, I stuck my finger in it. <laughs> <laughs> did it have one hole or two? Two. Two holes. Which hole did you stick your finger in? I'm not 100% sure, but I think it was the butt. Did you want to fuck it? No. But you, not at all. It you felt, touched it and you were like, it felt no. It bristly inside. <laughs> yeah, it was weird. I'm like, uh, guys, uh, you go wash my and they're hands all now. they're all proud of it. They're all like, yeah, I stick my dick in it just ten <laughs> minutes ago before you guys got here. 
I did mean, it look like clean? Did they? No, they took good care of it. I mean, I only saw it like twice, but you know, the two times I saw it, it looked. Well, the one day it was like brand new, and the other day it was, you know, a week or two later. Yeah, and they'd been used. You could tell. <laughs> it got turned out. <laughs> uh, you know, like, damn it, look a lot. How did the waste get track marks? <laughs> it's disgusting. <laughs> the waste. Yeah, man, the waste was a uh... <laughs> good. <laughs> it sounds like a waste. <laughs> no, that was like countless. Like there was so much like comic gold in like the the waste and just everything that happened in these two brothers like neighborhood. Just... Okay. <sighs> so they were like those magnetic people, kind of. Yep. I know a lot of them, and their their talent was that they had a waste <laughs> that they'd bring people over. Well, they to also see. had like dirt bikes and a potato gun and like a big like a lot of land. Oh, like, okay. Fuck around on and it was like in the woods, kind of. Yeah, it was, like, I understand party, it. Now. Party, 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 party place. They had a barn. Like my, one of my band's like first show was in like the barn behind their house. Was the waste present? <laughs> <laughs> I don't believe so. No. Just chilling. I think I, she was sleeping. It just sounds like the kind of thing that they would parade oh, around, right? No. The first porn I watched was with these kids. It was called Daddy's Little Girls. It had this like Daddy's Little Girls. I had a theme song. Had a fucking theme song. Oh fuck. It sounds horrible. Was this. it a VHS tape? Of course. There were DVDs weren't around yet. I was in high school, bro. And I'm like 10 years older than you. <laughs> yeah, so that was like 84? <laughs> like 96. 96. 97, maybe. Wow. You are old. You're almost like 50. I'm going to be 39 next Friday. 39 next Isn't Friday. That's Valentine's old. Day. Yeah, that is correct. Oh, that's your birthday? It's adorable, isn't it? That's adorable. Yeah, I've lived with it for 38 years now. Why do you say it like that? Why do you hate it? I don't hate it. Just It's just another fucking day, really. Mm-hmm. Okay. I'm not one of them birthday people. Not a birthday person. But next year... I'm, I will be celebrating the big 4 0. What are you going to do? We're going to go on the Jericho cruise. Going to go on the Jericho cruise. Oh, does she not know about that? No. Hey, we're going on a cruise. I know. He told me. Oh, okay. She knows. I told her. <laughs> I'm going to have to like sell a kidney to make it work, probably. Well, I mean, but... you or me both, but whatever. It's not that bad. Maybe I can sell somebody else's kidney. Just, uh, Fry? No, no, I would never sell Fry's kidney. What the fuck is wrong with you? Oh, that's why you have the refugee camp. Are uh, these undocumented people you have living here? Ready or not, here we come. <laughs> Gotta find you. Cut out your spleen. Alrighty then. Uh... I played that Final Fantasy VII remake demo this week. Oh, it's already out. There's a demo out. Um, well, I don't know how like legal it is because I was playing it on the roommate's mod. Okay. So I don't know if it's out yet, but it's pretty fucking dope. Yeah. Yeah, they like changed. more like fifteen. Yeah, the whole battle system's revamped and it's pretty. And I was it against still it. it still hits all the nostalgia feels that well. <laughs> The ADD gamer that he is, like, skipped the cutscenes. Yeah, I'm like, why'd you do that? He's like, I just want to see uh, the game. I'm like, okay. That is the game. Yeah, we had to talk about that. Yeah. But I did see, I mean, I didn't see the intro cutscene, but I saw another cutscene. And it's, yeah, it's there. Mm. I've, been want, I've been thinking about playing it again. I have so many games I've been playing, though. I think they're doing it wrong by releasing it in, like, chapters, though. 
What are you supposed to do? Make the whole fucking game and release the whole fucking game. Yeah, but the original game, so that you're going to have like... It was what, four discs, three discs? It was three discs. Th- yeah, three. <laughs> three. But uh, th- those were CDs. I mean, the storage capacity now is like... Yeah, but you'd still need... I know, what they're planning. He told me it's like a 25 gig demo. And that's just the demo. Yeah. But you have to have all those assets in there. But they're talking about, so like the first one isn't, you're not even going to get out of uh, Midgar. Or m- get out of Midgar. Yeah. That's where we were. Like, we just got Barrett. I, th- I think you, in this one, you do get to the part where you dress up as uh, the girl. <laughs> yeah, and you might even get to the end of the tower where you see S- Sephiroth for the first time, <laughs> or, or I, I don't know if you see him the first time or you just see the like the, oh, the burning village, the thing. evidence of him. No, where the like samurai sword sticking out of the the CEO or whatever. That's the first one. I thought the first time you see him is like that burning background and. In the flashback, I thought the flashback was after when you after you left Midgar. Been forever, so you're probably right. I'm sure you've played it since I have, so we'll go with you. All right, I don't know for sure either. Because you're a Final Fantasy nerd. I've watched speed runs of it more than I've played it recently. What's the fastest time beating that? Jesus, I think it's like five hours or something that they get it down to. Damn. That's it might be faster than that, but yeah, it's insane how fast they beat some of those games. And a lot of those games, it's just like menu management and um, like knowing little glitches, not it's, grinding at it's all. like menu management. You fucking nerd. Yeah. Uh, you play any uh, shits this week? Yeah. I played all kinds. I played more Spider-Man today. Oh, you're into that, eh? I've been just plugging away at it. Play it every couple weeks. It took Steve-O forever, so. Here, a couple hours here and there. I'm not into the Mary Jane levels that they have, where you have to, like, sneak around as Mary Jane, or they have somewhere you have to sneak around. Yeah. And you have to sneak around as Miles Morales and a couple of them. And it's like, I just want to play as Spider-Man. I just want to play... Are those um, a DLC or... No, part it's of the... just part of the story. Uh-huh. But those missions always, I'm like, fuck, I just want to get through this, be done with it, get on to the main game. Well, that's kind of like how Arkham was, of those Batman games get. And it's like along the same lines, right? Yeah. Yeah, so... Same... Same shit. If it wasn't the monotony, the game would only be like three hours long. Yeah, I want to. I'm thinking about starting that. Uh, uh, Days Gone. <laughs> That's what it is. Because I would kept wanting to say Left Left for Dead or uh, Last of Us, but it's Days Gone. That like zombie uh, survival horror zombie shit. Yeah, motorcycle. Eh. That one sucked when it first came out, didn't it? And they had to patch the shit out of it. I don't remember. I don't remember. I got it. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. But I've been playing this game Hades, man. That game is fun as fuck. I've been playing it on the PC because I have my PC games and my PS4 games. You don't understand because you've never been a PC gamer. No, there's nothing about me that's PC, bro. No, I know. I know how it is. Just I did spend a lot of money for a PC back in the day so I could play Diablo. Oh, so you were a PC gamer at one point. I played Diablo and Unreal. And why'd you... Stop? Yeah. Because it costs too much to upgrade to play the games. And I like having the controller better. The controller, yeah. The controller is good for some games. It's nice now because you can just... Yeah, it's totally different now. Yeah. You should get a PC when you can. <laughs> Yeah, let me put it on the list of shit to do. I All do right. need a new computer, though. So maybe I will just get a PC, because I really have no need for a laptop. But I was thinking about going Surface. It could work for you, but I I don't know. Because you want to edit and shit. Yeah. So I don't I don't know if that would be good for that. But What, Surface? It could be. 
But if you, it the dep- shit I've seen is like phenomenal. Yeah, I don't know. I want touch screen. You make anything a touch screen. I can even make you a touch screen. I could do it. It can happen. Uh-uh. I'm not I'm not down with that. You don't want to try? I'm not not no, I want to see it uh let the technology, yeah, let the technology evolve first. No. I don't want to be the guinea pig of the touchscreen. No, you, come on. Human touchscreen guinea pig. Come on, Rob. Or, or like the Live nor- a little. Or Neuralink. I'm not putting any wires on my brain just yet. Um, I do like the idea of it, but... I haven't really played anything else besides that, though. <laughs> just those two. Read some comic books. I got comic books. I got comic books. What'd you get? I got a lot of the same shit you got. Yeah, you did. Well, the X-Men. Good. Yeah, Marauders. I got that. What do you... So, this is one thing that kind of throws me off. You didn't like it? No, I like it. I like Marauders. It's not any... It's about all of them together. It's just in the past couple weeks, it's kind of... <laughs> how they have all these different teams that are off doing all these different things, but it seems like none of those things are happening in the other books. Because, like... The continuity of the stories? Yeah, because, well, like... they're not supposed to be intertwined so much. Because, like, Marauders this week... Spoilers. Kate Pride is missing. But in the X-Men <laughs> Fantastic Four, she's there helping them. But... So when in the timelines are these taking place? And it happened with uh, some other stuff with, like, the New Mutants. Oh, yeah, And yeah, the yeah, Fallen yeah. Angels... Last week, or the week before. You just got to see them as independent stories. Because they are. They're independent stories. Um, But, uh, back to Marauders. Okay. Did it seem, like, extra sexy to you? It just seemed like there was a lot of, like, sex kind of stuff. Not, like, sex, but, like... Uh, I didn't pick up on it. No, like Emma mm. Frost being like naked, almost naked. Oh then, yeah, she uh, was almost. What well, she was? Shorty like ripping the sleeves off. The, she was just ripping her sleeves off. I don't know. It just seemed very sexualized. Maybe I'm just thirsty. <laughs> yep, that's why you want that auto blow job machine. <laughs> yeah, so I could like have the guilt of fucking a blow job machine after all that. The, why is the, you have the guilt? You don't. Have, uh, you don't have guilt after you masturbate. No, I mean not all the time. S- sometimes, sure, but no, like generally not. I think that's the uh, because you were raised religious. It's coming out again. Lack of empathy. A shame of your sexual what experience. Uh, no. It's all speaking back to your religion. What religion? I'm an atheist. But you're, you weren't raised that way. Well, I mean, my family never went to church. I just went to a school. Oh. Yeah, you don't know why? Okay. I went to that school because when my parents got divorced, the judge said it would be nice for him to go to a school somewhere in between, which would be a private school. And I ended up at that place. Okay. But you had all that religion pounded on you. Oh, it was pounded, all right. And they and, you, you know, for a little bit, yeah, I kind of, like, gave in, but I was just, you know, going along with it. Okay. I never felt it. You don't, and you don't feel it now? Never. No. Okay. I mean, there were, like, moments. But so why do you feel guilty about masturbating, Rob? We need to get down to the bottom of this. I think a lot of, I've read this, that a lot of men feel guilty, not guilty, but I'm not even, sh- I don't know, they just, I don't know if it's, I'm not, I'm not choosing the right words here. But after masturbation, they're just like, ugh. <laughs> ugh. Ugh. Well, it's because all the dopamine's left, right? Yeah. So it's the drop down. Yeah. It's like doing, a, doing a ecstasy or something, and the next day you're all like, fuck this. I don't know about no ecstasy. No? <laughs> okay, I can't lie. Yeah. <clears throat> In past lives. (laughs) I've transcended. Transcended. I've awoken. Um, X-Men and Fantastic Four number one. I thought it was pretty good. 
Yeah, I I dug it. The story that I'm going on there is uh, Franklin Richards, who is uh, Reed Richards and, and Sue, Sue Richards', Richards the, son. Yeah, is a mutant. He's a mutant, an omega level mutant. The Fantastic Four aren't mutants. No, they're humans. That they have just been got genetically hit. modified. No, it wasn't genetic. What well, it, I mean, they had yeah. their genetics modified. Radi- well, but it was it's like radiation. radiation. Yeah. It was gamma rays. Gamma rays, like incredible hawk shit. But they don't want their son to be a mutant. It seems like that seems like Reed, Reed is like suppressing them. Yeah. And Shorty G found out about that shit. And dipped. Tried to dip. And then found out about yeah, some more he, suppression. He, yeah, tried to run through a portal in Krakoa and just like came out the other side like, what the fuck? Some Cape Pride style. Yeah. But then smuggled himself on board the ship. And ran into fucking Doctor Doom. And that's where they left off. Yeah. Well, that was a crazy ride. I dug that one. <laughs> yeah. Um, The art was really good, too. Yeah. Those, uh, what are they, the, the, the Torsky, whatever? I don't know. The, of course, it's not on the cover of this one you chose. <laughs> anyway. That's why I got the variant, because I know you would That's go to I got the variant. The variant strikes again. I also got uh, Gideon Falls, man. That, it just keeps going. I'm all like, God damn, I want to keep reading this. That's I'm gonna I've got the singles of that, but that's gonna be one of the ones I do get the trade again for. Good, I'll it's read so it. good, it's so good. <coughs> so family tree, family we tree. Talked about it a little bit. Um, how is this a sh- an ongoing series or is it a limited series? I believe it's an ongoing. I don't know how they're gonna keep it going. What do you mean? Is it gonna happen to other people? Like turn it into a tree. Oh yeah, person? it seems like a bunch of people. Yeah, but you like you saw all the people living in that tree, and the connection is that guy. That her doctor. dad. Well, that was her grandfather. And her grandpa. Yeah, but I don't. He. It seems like he didn't learn about it until it started happening to his son too. I don't know. We'll have to wait and see. It's only the third issue out, and it sparked like I like I said, I was about to give up on it. Because I read too many damn fucking comic books. And you're, you're all like, which one can I cut off? That's it, it what was, I'm thinking about with some least. of the X-Men now. It was on the least. Oh, yeah? Who you got on the chopping block? I don't know. I'm just Falling. thinking. That's why it kind of threw me well, did off. You, did you see the new books that are coming out, too? Like Cable and Nightcrawler. And... Yeah. Yeah. And those are all, like, offshoots of this? Yep. Yeah, I don't know if I can keep up with all that. I'm nope. not going to. Especially when you release them all on the same day. Yep, yep. Uh, any other uh, lightning squirt another guard? Yeah. Um, yeah, Protector I want to talk about. Talk? I know nothing. I'm digging it. Uh, it's it's fucking awesome. It reminds me of like... It's an image book, right? Yeah. It's And I think it's the dude that did the art for... Um, I want to say like Powerpuff Girls, but I'm not sure. <laughs> it it reminds me of his man. name. But it it's awesome because it reminds me of like an Akira in like post apocalyptic like North America. They got like Canada there and all these different tribes that have taken over and it's it's and there's like this slave girl, but she wakes up like a uh Mel does like his slave girls. She was she's running away from the slavers, but she wakes up like a robot, and I'm guessing that's her protector. And it's like this, you know, it's kind of like Mad Max and Akira meet. I can dig that. Kira or not Fist Akira, uh, Mad Max and like Fist of the North Star, but oh well, I'm out then. Like the art style is kind of like Akira. It's a, uh, it's, I'm digging it. Yeah. I'll let I'll let you read the first one. See if you want to jump in or not. Fair. Um, what else? Hmm. Oh, there's shit. There was one I picked up two weeks ago. Oh, clocks or something. The clock. Uh, the clockwork 
Yeah, I got that one too. You did get that. Yeah. What did you think of that? I w- I'm interested. The whole virus. Pretty, yeah, I thought that was pretty. How the, it's like a weaponized virus. Yes. I thought that was an interesting uh, plot. I'm down for seeing what happens there. But like, there's a lot of books like that out now. Like, yeah, Undiscovered Country that and the one you were just talking about, Protector. Yeah. They're all kind of like similar. A little. In that, you know, it's an America that broke down and what happens afterwards. The great country of America. Um, The Wicked and Divine, I read. Oh, yeah. You got your paws on that. Yeah. I, I dug it. Lucy. Lucy. That was your favorite? Uh, the whole, well, I mean, they still talk about her. They're like the whole ongoing thing. It's. How many volumes are out so far? All of them. Twelve. I think it's twelve. That's it? It might be fifteen. It's the whole story. I think it's between twelve and fifteen, and I got four. Red three. Oh, so there's fifteen, like, volumes trade like paper, that. Trade paperbacks, yeah. Oh, wow. Yeah. Well, that's... they're only, like, five issues that rip. Yeah, five but or six still. Issues. So that's, like, 60 issues out? Sounds right. Wow. I just didn't realize there were that many. I uh, yeah, I it caught my eye as soon as the series was ending. Like the like last two issues, I was like, that kind of looks interesting. And then it's like, this is the last issue. I'm like, oh fuck. But that's kind of good though. Yeah, there's a definitive can, end. Yeah, you can just go through it and read, and that's kind of what sucks because I picked up a uh, Why the Last Man or Last Man Why or Oh yeah yeah yeah. It uh and. I, so I read through that, and now I'm like, man, I want to read more of this because there's more. I know there's more story, and it's not like something you have to wait for. It's like I could go out there and look for it now. I guess that doesn't oh, suck. And one thing back to the Wicked and the Divine is like, it's just one story. It's not like this is this story arc. This is this story arc. This, I mean, it is that yes, but it's they're telling the same story. So it's the same two years or whatever? Yes. So, so it's far. not going to focus on, like, this is them being reincarnated kind of thing? No, I don't think so. Okay. It's, yeah, it's, it gets deep on all that shit. Like, just twists and turns. Like, it's what any good, any good book needs to be Yeah. to keep your attention. It, it does it. And the art is just so clean and beautiful. Really clean and really beautiful. I'm digging it. You got, I got the fish hook in my mouth. You do like the fish hook. Ew. Uh, you watching the Super Bowl? Um, I caught like the last quarter of it, really. First one I've watched the entirety of since the Ravens one. It's pretty good. Yeah, I liked it. What Commer- I saw. Commercials sucked, but I never really cared about them anyway. Yeah, I didn't. Uh, XFL. We watched some today. What'd you think? I I liked what I saw. I'm watching tomorrow. It definitely uh seemed like inferior football, like a yes. like a lower level of competition, but it seemed better than arena. Yes. <laughs> and I liked the uh the changes that they made. At least it made it a little more interesting in the first week. I don't know if that's just cuz it's a novel novelty of it, like it's new and but it's it's definitely interesting to see them trying different things. It's not the old XFL. No. I kind of miss people calling themselves whatever they want. I want to see he hate me. He hate me, yeah. But, you know. I think it's, you know, it might find its niche after losing a couple million. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Right? Uh, have you checked out Lock and Key on Netflix yet? Your mm. boy Joe Hill? No, I saw it was on Netflix just the other day. Yeah, well, it just came out yesterday. Yeah. I will be probably checking that out this week. Have you read any of those? No. I I wanted to read them. I heard they were good. I'm just going to take it that it's Joe Hill. It's going to be okay. Okay. Like, I'm not super interested in all the stuff Hill House has coming out now. Yeah, they kind of lost me. I haven't been keeping up with all of it. (laughs) I'll check out some Netflix. I'm definitely stuff. still in for Basket Full of Heads. <clears throat> oh yeah, the other, that the other and Dollhouse. Stuff. That and Dollhouse are the only two I'm interested in. 
And that's only because there's only like two issues of each left. Yeah, I didn't. Daphne Bryan, I didn't pick up any of it. Nope, and, uh, nope, nope, nope. nope. Uh, well, no, Lolo Woods. That one was all right. The Lolo Woods. And then there was the. Uh, Were they just one offs? Dying is easy. No, oh. I don't think so. Yeah, I'm not getting invested <laughs> in any more of that just yet. Yeah. Uh, interesting week for wrestling news. Okay. There were a, a few people arrested. <laughs> Did you see any of this? No, it I kind of happened the day. I guess um, I didn't. Ted DiBiase's son was arrested for fraud and embezzlement. The one that was a wrestler. Oh, wow, the one that quit. <clears throat> to yeah. Like, huh. He got arrested for fraud and embezzlement today. Uh, remember Adam Bomb from the 90s? Oh, yeah, I saw he got yeah. arrested. That dude got arrested on drug trafficking charges with some dude from some 60s band called the Buckinghams. Damn. <laughs> uh, yeah. That's, I'm guessing, probably steroids, but okay. who knows? The anabolics? He, yeah, I don't know. Could have been cocaine. The mugshot looked a little... Scary. He did look a little crazy in that mugshot. But, like, when I saw him side by side, like, him and, like, when he was Wrath or, and uh, Adam Bomb, I'm like, that is him. People get old, though. People do age. It happens, Rob. Um, WrestleMania's coming up. WrestleMania is coming up. We are going to see some shit. We already have tickets to two, well, three shows with WrestleMania. And at one of those shows, Orange Cassidy. Versus, I'm going to let you say it. Oh, Minoru Suzuki? Yeah. May God have mercy. That's going to be an awesome match. On Minoru Suzuki's soul. Orange Cassidy is over right now. I Yeah, but... Does, like, how do you book this match? <laughs> Please tell me. Oh, Suzuki's totally going to play into... You think so? Yeah. He's going to sell for him. He's going to sell his ass file for him. Yeah? Yeah. Who wins? Cassidy. Damn. No, probably Suzuki. And, Cassidy but he's, doesn't he need is going to gonna sell for him. Oh, yeah. Fucking Pac sold for him. Yeah, but Pac's not Suzuki. I don't know. I'm, the man terrifies me. <laughs> It'll be awesome. We're going to see him. We're going to see some Moxley. Oh, that's another one that I'm looking forward to. Uh, Suzu Suzuki and Moxley. Isn't that this weekend? They aren't fighting each other. Oh, yeah. This, that's this morning in like five hours. Oh, shit. Six hours. Something like that. Is that on the... Uh... New That's Japan. On New Japan, right? Yeah. Oh shit. Might be a long night. Um and how about some changes for the uh WWE network coming, maybe? I'll believe it when I see it. Well, I've heard about it forever. They're talking about possibly selling pay per view rights. Yeah, yeah, I don't uh, do you th if they did that, will anybody subscribe to the network then? No. Yeah. Like, they even said, like, they have, like, 1.6 million subscribers right now, but they said we used to have more. Yeah, I'm one of them. <laughs> You're one of them. Or are you a subscriber again? I subscribed for Rumble, just because I didn't want to watch bu some bullshit stream, but... There aren't bullshit streams. There are good streams out there. Some bullshit streams. <laughs> Fine. That always craps out on me. Well, you watch it on your laptop, though. Yes. Oh, nope. yeah. You can't cast a stream. No. It always fucks up when you cast a stream. Well, at least I know that just not, that's not just a bootleg internet thing. It's a real people internet thing, too. Why are you looking at me like that? You know um, I got free internet. And you pay for it. <laughs> Jerk off. Yeah, but you got that good, good shit where you can actually play games online. I don't have that. I mean, I have that luxury, but at any moment it could stop. <laughs> so it's kind of more of a pain in the ass rushing roulette game. Yeah. Yeah, bro. <clears throat> what about this uh, rumored Sting Undertaker match that we might get at WrestleMania? I think it would be the only match I would want to see either one of them in. 
and they should both retire afterwards. Yeah. But I'm 100% okay with it. No, I would be I would be so happy seeing that. Work out. I would. Yeah, me too. I would. It would be like when we saw the Hardys. That was awesome. I, I, I still don't know who had the bigger pop, though. Edge or them. I don't know. Edge had a pretty big pop. It was huge. Pretty big pop for Edge. We're going to see Edge there. You think? He's definitely going to have a mini you match. Think? Yeah. Think? With what? Orton? No, I'm thinking Styles if he's... Uh, cleared? Yeah. Medically cleared back? If he's healthy. Orton's the holdover until then. But then that would probably... That would be his like three matches. They just blow the load right there. Where Who would be the third? Rumble would be one. No, he's scheduled for more than that. That's three matches and then 13 appearances. No, I heard Fired. it was more than that. Whatever it is, he got a great money deal. Yeah. Uh, fair. Good Good on him. Just don't kill yourself. Jesus. Do you need to be there? Yeah. <laughs> what? So we can do it on my terms? Yeah, exactly. Dude, life doesn't work on your terms sometimes, you know? You gotta... You, sometimes you just got to make it work on your terms. Yeah. Okay, bitch. I don't. I'm fragile. Stop. You are fragile. And that's why you need to fucking pull up your manties, put on some pants, pick yourself up by those bootstraps, and get out there. Okay? You get out there where? Do what? What am I doing when I'm out there? Just putting In my boots. fucking. Putting that rubber to the pavement. Okay. Pressing the flesh? Yeah. Getting out there doing something. I'm not much of a flesh presser. And all that. You know? No. But sure. Um, What do you think about Dynamite? I dug it. That fucking Cody... Sh- and Lashes a- was brutal as yes. fuck. And it had a very old school 80s feel to it, I thought. Yeah. Maybe just because they were beating each other with a strap. But uh, are they going to have a strap match? No. I hope not. I think strap matches are boring. What? I want to like old school, like bloody. Touch each corner of the ring match. Yeah. That's boring. Only because it got overplayed. No, because it's long and boring. Like the Like the whole like. Touching each turnbuckle is so like long and drawn out, and just it's like a giant rest hold. No, yes, maybe it's just because I haven't watched one in a while. But I mean, don't get me wrong, there were a couple good ones, but anyone I ever saw that was like on TV that wasn't like on a pay per view was garbage. It's like a flag match. Flag matches can be fun. <laughs> okay, Rusev and Cena. I think that was the last one I remember seeing. Or like a, a coal miner's glove on a pole match. Yes, sir. <laughs> Judy right. Bagwell on a pole. On a forklift. Uh, yeah, Dynamite, great episode. Top to bottom. Yep. Killed them in the ratings. Killed them. Uh, Raw. <sighs> No, it's all right. Ripley, Better in Rhea, SmackDown. Rhea Ripley showing up was pretty good. Yeah. I don't think Charlotte's going to ch- challenge her for it, but... Charlotte's going to challenge her. You think? Yeah. Like Mania? Yep. Who else? I don't know. They're talking about bringing Baszler up. Yeah, but she's going to face Becky. True. And then Bailey's going to face Naomi. Yeah, I, meh. What are you doing? Because SmackDown kind of is booty. Kid. Yeah, SmackDown sucked still. I feel Rick, oh, Ricochet's your number one contender. Yeah, that'll be an interesting match. Him versus Brock? Yeah, that's. I'm not going to watch it. Oh, that's going to be over there? Yep. Yeah, I'm not going to. Over there in Blood Money territory? Yeah, see ya, Blood Money. Um. Anywho. Anywho. Um, you know. I think it's time to yeah. wrap this up. I we're see gonna, that. We're going to take it home, Rob. No, you were about to say something 
Potent. I heard. Take it. us home. Country roads. West Virginia. I don't. I, I don't, don't know. know. You remember the finish? I don't. <laughs> I don't remember the finish. We were calling this on the fly. Oh fuck, Stephen. That's not Steven. Who the hell are you? This has been a TRGPM production.